Okay, so you had a good question you're about to ask me. What was that? You had a little gleam in your eye, too. I like that when people have that little gleam in their eye. So, I mean, hang on, Sex. Do that one more time. Let me take a look at these hands. My old friend, right? Okay. And I always felt like I was having trouble with this. Yeah, you're going to have more courage. It's going to take more courage for you to feel like what's under stress can be unwound to collect a ball before it goes normal, before it gets out of stress into a normal condition, right? Normal would be in line, right? Well, here's so this and that's right. Let me explain this and that. So you stay, uh, you stand me. Okay, that way you're off both cameras and you can watch, right? So one of my coaches, great coach from Canada, Mark Evershed, he used to have a lot of students set up, okay, aim the face well to the left, and then learn how to hit it straight. See what I mean? How would you learn how to hit it straight? You'd have to relax, the face would have to, you know, th these arms would behave way differently, the body would have to unwind way more, right? So that was his way of a pretty simple drill to go, okay, all right, aim the face kind of like you're going to aim it over just to the left of this barber pole on the ground, and then grip it, and then figure out how to unwind and, you know, square, you know, have the face be square, right? Well, what you're, you know, what's happening with what you brought me was amazing body motions, okay? And just the, in delivery, this face was just, when you look here at where I'm at at P6, right, the face is just pointed at the sky too much, right? Now, if I could come in here and put the face right here, there's no way you'd stall and deliver the face like this and just smother hook it. It would make sense. You'd pretty, pretty quickly realize, you know what, I better unwind just a bit more so that when I get to the ball, you know, I'm not hitting the outside half to, and then therefore hitting it left. I'm hitting a bit more of the back of the ball, which is going to hit it straighter. Oh, and by the way, when the club head is playing catch-up, you know, in its lagging, stressful state, that groove, that third or fourth groove, hits way closer up to the equator. So think about, you know what I mean? Let's see how my... Tour striker. That's why I made it, right? So, you know, how, like this is, this is how most Amis try to hit it. Pink, 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 pick it off the ground. They hate tight lies because they can't get under it. Good players aren't getting under it. Good players are just crushing the equator with a bit of forward lean. There's still plenty aloft. Plenty. Okay, but when I when I hit your six iron, I launched it at 17 or 18 or whatever I launched it. I can't remember. 19 maybe, okay? You were launching it at 26 or 27, 28, right? So I there was a difference in golf ball launch because of how the ball was felt like I took your 7-iron and through relaxing and unwinding, you know, my 80 miles an hour, you know, trumped your 80 miles an hour by a big, big margin because I hit the ball solidly on the equator, not really on the equator because you can't hit it on the equator and have an elevation. But you get my point? Okay. I just hit it less on the south pole than you. And so the easiest way to hit a ball on the south pole is this. Just turn the face to the right. The more I turn it to the right, the more on the south pole I hit it. Doesn't that sound like a flop shot around the green? Right? We don't want you know we don't want to hit a bag full of flop shots. Right? We want to learn how to relax a club into a strong stressed condition. And this is watch my hand go into a state of stress. It's in stress. I mean it's just a different word, right? The weight of it's stressing that can unwind and hit it. Okay, so we're gonna go outside and we're gonna just go through this little journey of how to become a good golfer. The driver. Let's come back to that. Okay. Okay, good. So this is what we're going to learn how to do together, okay? We're going to learn how to do our little grippy deal here outside and build a nice left hand first because once you build this, the right will follow, okay? And then we're going to learn how to go into this little stressy situation of the club. We're never going to rest the club on the ground. We're always going to find a measure almost to the ground to where somebody couldn't tell that the club's not resting on the ground, okay? Never on the ground, ever. Now we're going to figure, ooh, that feels different, and we're going to figure out how to hit the ball on a state of stress, okay? And it's a good stress. It's the stress the hands feel. Let me, you stay there. Let me record this. So this is the state of stress the hands feel. Okay, so this club's, you can't tell it's not on the ground, but when you watch good players, 
they waggle, they look, they settle. The club's never resting. It's always a part of them, okay? So here's what I'm talking about. Here's that stress. Okay, so that you can turn around and watch this for a moment, right? It'll reload and it'll play back in slow-mo. Or maybe not. It didn't play back. I'll play it back. So as you watch this, here's the club. And take note of here's the shaft position at address. Right, and we the, this sensation of here's this club. What do you notice? It almost re reverse lags on the way back a little bit, huh? Yeah, and then it's in a stressful. The weight of the club stressed. I'm not trying to get this club in an alignment. It's gonna be. It's gonna get normal soon enough. Right, and so that's this is a exaggerated, over relaxed, therefore over stressy situation that launches the ball low and crispy and it's a shot that a lot of players use when they're hitting into the wind or less than a full one for a back pin blah 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 there's a lot of reasons why now notice my finish right here is that full it's not full okay that's a kind of a sawed off little three quarter -y control -y finish what you didn't realize outside and I didn't touch on it yet with you is all your finishes look like this all your finishes kind of go, okay, you're going to learn how to go, here's the impact, somewhere in there, see, that, see what I'm doing there, I'm letting the weight of the club stress what, if I was an elephant's head, you know, my gray sweater is fitting, okay, and then my two arms were the snout, and they could hold a golf club. Wouldn't it look kind of like this? See how, and I could stall and flip it, right? Or I could unwind and flip, and, you know, so here's stall and flip, right? Here's me flipping later. It's still a flip. It's just different timing of the flip. One crushes the ball, one hits a high weak one or chunks it. Now to your driver question. Sorry, I got on a tangent. Before you do that, uh, your setup position. No, because, I, I mean, I guess I could do this, but it's an out of, when, this is dynamic, you know, impact's dynamic, we're rotating, okay, baseball, hockey, tennis, you know what I mean, so in golf, we kind of aim ourselves statically, but I'm teaching how to grip it dynamically, so we can go back to take, get our hands on there properly, and then we're going to pass through dynamics of how we stress the club in our hands and unwind that stress. Back to your driver, and then we'll get outside, okay? You grab a driver. So, why, when you had uh, this behavior, you know, a lot of people that sliced it were taught to, you know, grip it strong, right? And there's no way they're ever going to let this release to any degree because that face makes zero sense, right? So you get these guys that gripped it strong, and then they kind of all kind of go and hold it off and top a lot of golf balls and whatever. But, you know, with your situation, since on your driver swings, and we could probably do one, we'll look at one before we go outside, is that your face is open late. It's here somewhere, right? So there, therefore, you have the, the need to use that right arm to square it. And the problem is you just hit the outside half of the ball too much, right? So your path is actually pretty good. It's a little bit fade bias, a couple degrees. I mean, close enough to zero to play really good golf. It's not like it, two degrees is a big deal. It's not. That finds fairways all day long, and you hit it plenty far. Okay. So, but the problem is, it's kind of relying on you kind of stalling and using your right arm to square, rather than you kind of unwinding and getting normal, letting the stress normalize later. Right. So, if the face was a little stronger. You wouldn't want to stall and roll a face that's dead shut. You'd want to unwind a face that could hit it straight. Am I making sense? Yeah. Right? You unwind to hit it straight. You don't stall to square an open face. Right? So, you know, good players that imp as they're in P6 kind of look like when you can kind of see where that face is. Your face was here. You needed to stall and use your right arm. Good players just kind of go, okay, how hard can I unwind to smash it? Right? And unwinding's incremental speed. Think about if you could control the hub of a 10-speed, 
and you got to go in and you could reach in there with your fingers where the spokes are in the in the hub and just twist it a little the distal speed is incredible right so the unwinding's not massive the unwinding's steady and in and keeps going right that's the key to it it's not just bursty cuz then you're out of control yeah little what Oh, so I was talking about, so back to P2, yeah. So think about P2, right? And and we'll play around with this a little bit. So Rory's backswing, and I got to hit, I got to watch, you know, Rory from that far away at Portrush in October. It was freaking amazing. Okay, in Ireland, it was amazing. So again, there's P2. So this would look like, on a camera, take a look at that right the down the line view. That's looking like I'm brushing my pocket. See what I mean? I'm not taking that flying wedge and rolling it over here, am I? That kicks my hands out, doesn't it? Right? So let me show you like a simple way to feel that. So come on in here, stand right there, left foot, right foot, I'll take the club. Okay. So we're going to put that right underneath your belly button. That, um, good, 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 right about there. Good. Bit up your butt, off your butt. That's good. A stretch. Popped it up. Okay. So this is the feeling. Oh, my gizmo is coming out soon. Okay, grip it. So there's a bit of just a bit of um, rubber tension there. Agreed. And so right hand goes on the other side of it. Right hand goes, there you go, good. You got that feeling in there? Is there a little bit of rubber force there coming back at you? Beautiful. Come to this spot right here where my club head is, so walk your feet up a bit is all. Good. All right, so now the band, yeah, hang on a second here, Put that. leave that there. The band's job is to try to pull you in here, right? right? That's what we're going to learn how to resist. Cool. Okay? So you're going to basically, and we're going to, before we go that way, we're going to go this way, Okay. Come with me here. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Good. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. Thank you. Do it again. Keep that. No, no, no. From in fact, here. You're getting ahead of me. There you go. Here to here. Semi follow through. Stand up, stand up, stand up. A little bit more rotated. Come on, knees together. And no, 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 no. Here. This is what you're going to do outside in a minute. Okay. You signed up for it. I didn't make you come here. I'm going to work you hard. Put that club right there. Okay, come on, rotate and stand up. Beautiful, good, feeling it, beautiful, do it again. Okay, beautiful, do it again. That's what good players do, by the way, right there. Okay, good, now the only thing I would say to make this better, do it again, is let that right foot bank and just roll to the toe a bit more. Okay, good, do it again. Good, let it bank, let it, and then stand up and rotate. Good, okay, do it again. Right shoulder, ready, do it again. Right shoulder tracks a little lower, do it again. I'll help you. And then, there you go, do it again. Right shoulder, good, perfect, good, do it again. Okay, good, and head can be looking here now. Beautiful, now that's semi-follow through, you got it? Check, semi-follow through, that's where we're gonna go in a sec. Where do you notice this cable? It's not, you're not like this. Okay, good, all right? So now I'll take the medicine ball away. Come, don't make it back. Don't make a swing yet. Hang with me. Fe feel that sense of structure right there. Good. So here's this is trying to rip you inside. Don't let it. Resist, 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 resist. Good. Stay there for a second. Resist. Okay. Beautiful. Good. Do it again. Go back to the ball. Go back and resist. Resist, resist, resist. Awesome. Okay. Resist. Good. Go to semi follow through over here. Go. Good. So look eyes, where your eyes look. Perfect. Do it again. Okay, ah, 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 see what you did there? Overrule the left arm flying wedge. Okay, so you're going to resist. Beautiful, good. Come on to semi follow through over here. Eyes with you. Good, do it again. Almost getting it. Don't have to yell at you very much. Ah, too much. Slow and look. Slow and resist and look. Look, 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 look. Good. Come on over here, semi follow through now. 
Eyes, where do eyes go? Eyes would be watching the ball. Good, the ball's up here somewhere by now. Good, do it again. Okay, resist, 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 resist. Good. Come on back through over here. Beautiful. Eyes would be falling. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to take it one far step farther, okay? So shake your hands out for a second. Rest the club in your body. Just take a little break. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of re relax. Perfect. Rebuild your dynamic grip the way I taught you. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Flat, flat, comfy lead wrist. Thumbprint on the top. Face is pretty much vertical. Beautiful. Swivel that in front of you. Good. Put that right hand on. Perfect. Arms. Left arm is on the logo a little bit. You're doing amazing. Okay, here's the resist, 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 resist. Stop. Now take a look at correct. Take a look at incorrect. Take a look at correct. Take a look at incorrect. Okay, do it on your own. Good. Perfect. Good. So take a look. What's correct? What's incorrect? Good. Perfect. Okay, just hang on here. Don't think so much. Set that club down in front of you. Okay, let me put you here. Feel. Okay, look, look, check. Good, do it on your own. Perfect. Go to semi follow through, please. Let your eyes follow the ball. Beautiful. Okay, on your own. Make me proud. Show me from the ball. Hang on one second. Okay, go for it. From the ball, resist, and go to semi follow through. Okay, cool. Now take a half breather. Come on over here and take a look. So this is like fitness positional training gizmo coming on soon. Okay, it's just shocking how much it helps people. It's stupid. So, you know, I'm going to take you kind of through the, so you're in that resistance phase. Beautiful. Kind of working through here. Look at that nice shaft lean and unwinding looking like a stud. And I'm not asking you to f try to feel like you're trying to purposely stretch your arms out. That's a no-no. Okay? All you have to do to stretch your arms out is rotate the way you've rotated, and your arms will be stretched out. Okay? So what you're doing here is great. So this is your, you know, your P2 position looks a little different now, doesn't it? It's not over-rotated like it was, you know, this guy here, right? So if I take this one and say, okay, let's take you to P2. Here is a rotation of the left arm flying wedge prematurely. Here's a guy building in a feeling with some band work. I know, and look where the face is, right? So now all you're really doing is learning how to unwind. There you go, the club's shallowing a little bit, and you're unwinding over to this nice, you know, rotated. Now, again, adding a little bit, you could let this right foot bank up. You could let these knees, knees come together. Imagine you just watch the golf ball, you know, pierce and down your target line a beauty, right? Let's do another. So come on back up in here. Training it, feeling it. Good. We'll go outside and start smashing some really crisp little wedgies here pretty soon. Okay. Nice. Okay. Good. So back to feel it. Come on. Semi follow through. Right. Eyes. Come on. Right leg. Do it again. Eyes, right leg. Okay. You got. Ah, 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 ah. So we're changing one thing. We're losing thought in the other, right? Okay. Get organized, beautiful. Check, 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 check. Ready? Eyes, right leg, go. Eyes. Because, don't keep your head down for a week, you're 59. The ball should be gone. We'll watch it go. Do it again. Ah, come on. Resist, 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 resist. Resisting, here's not resisting. Here's resisting. Feel the difference? Giving up, not, resi not giving up. Okay, resist. Eyes. Beautiful. Do it again. Oh boy. Tough love, baby. Good. Now, let's do the next piece. You ready? Okay, here's the next piece. And you do this pretty well. Regrip it. Shake it out a bit because you're training, training, training. Good. Good. Left arm up on the pack. Structure. It's, this phrase is called resist, relax, and rotate. It rotates, which you've already done semi-follow through, right? 
you're going to learn how to hit these shots to hear a boom. Eyes piercing wedges, structure in this arm right there, ripping it. Bullet wedge, like bullet east. Well, you could let it go, or you could just have structure as you pivot. There's a difference, right? Good. Eyes, perfect. Now come back here for a sec. So here's resist, resist, resist. Now we're going to let it go up here. Resist, resist, resist. See how you feel this weight of the club at center mass on top of your hands? Don't let it go here yet. Okay, okay we're going to let it relax to here. Okay. Relax to here, right? So come back to the ball. Resist, 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 resist. Relax. Right, exactly. Rotate. Good, right there. Do that again. It was great. Ready? Now come back here. Resist. Relax. Rotate. Hold. Hold, hold, hold. See how you let it go over here? Yeah. Don't. Pace it so you don't. Okay? See the difference? Unwind it so that it doesn't flip over here. Unwind it so you can start to sting these iron shots. Okay, good. Show me again. Resist, relax, rotate. Hold your finish for me to adjust if need be. Okay, hold on one second. Good, go. Relax, rotate. Good. Yeah, you'd be just a bit more over here. Okay, good. Do it one more time. We'll get outside. Show me. Resist, relax, rotate. Good, beautiful. Okay. Now, let's have a little fun here. Okay, go for it. Resist, relax, rotate. Set up the club over the ball and just hit one for me. Set up to the ball and resist, relax, rotate, and go. Okay, good try. Let's have a look. So we necked it. We necked three in a row. Just hang on. No, 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 no. You're not too close to the ball. You missed. And that's absolutely fine. Okay. Well, let's take a look. You, you necked it when you got in here. You necked it then. So, but that's okay. Let's see how we trained, right? We put in some training. How's P2 looking? Ridiculously better. You trained for five minutes, by the way. Maybe seven. Okay. Right? Like this, look, this is like really good. Strong and fast. Okay. Here's this club shallowing. Quite nice. Okay. It's still, club face still a little weak and still not quite relaxed enough to be behind you. And that's why you necked it. Because the club is still a bit out. Hard to give up and hard to learn how to relax the club behind you and have the courage, right? But to see how nicely you trained in P2, right? Like in, in your backswing. So on the right screen here, watch P2, P2, P2. Beautiful, right? And I actually like to see this a bit more in here, actually. Kind of like you'd said, a little bit more toward that right thigh. Kind of like you're doing in yeah. training over here, right? Like here's you doing the training, feeling it. You know, so as you kind of train it back a little bit closer to the body, right? Okay. So as you're going up, now you've got this sense of strength and length. And now this right arm, we've just got to get in. We've got to learn how to relax this enough for that cable to want to. No, heck no. No, not at all. Now we have room for a club to shallow so that you can unwind and, and hit a good one. Now you necked it again like you've necked them all. But look at how nice you look through this ball. And it won't take long before you start flushing it. Here's the face-on version. One swing, okay, one swing after you use the tool for a little bit, right? So this now you've got a little bit of hands winning the race, a little bit of shaffling, even though you shanked it, right? And body rotating and eyes releasing. That's a good-looking golf swing, man. Good-looking golf swing. Let's go outside and get to work.